Hey guys, so this afternoon we're making some kahawai up. We've got the fillets off from when we did the raw fish. Now we're going to take the belly flap off. Like so. that and it leaves us with our belly flap and the guts which obviously we don't want I'm gonna wash that off put that in the smoker come down here take the backbone off where we've left some meat give that a little wash off and that'll be ready for the smoker. And the head. It's gonna go in here. You want the last bit of guts out. And you want the gills out of here as well. And once you've got all of that out, then, let's say, I'll go and wash out these heads and backbones and belly flaps. Oh. gills out of that another head ready to be washed <laughs> and go in the smoker so I'm gonna go and wash those and then I'll show you my seasoning that I use to give it a nice bit of extra flavor so something we're gonna use on a couple of them is some brown sugar I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on the belly flap and on one of these fillets here doesn't have to be heaps and I'll do one of the backbones with it as well backbone I only tend to season one side you can season both if you want but I don't really find it's necessary got the brown sugar on there I'm going to do it on the other backbone as well just because I know it works so well there's lots of different things that you can do with your fish before it goes in the smoker brown sugar is quite a common one but you can use sweet chili sauce you can use nothing like I'm going to do on some of these other than a bit of a standard salt and pepper Plenty of pepper, I love my pepper. I have to say, the sweet chili sauce with the secret ingredient called sumac. This stuff is magic. Put on your smoke first. So, nice healthy dose of that. Lemon pepper is really nice. Just play about with it, guys. You can't get it wrong. This is the beauty of cooking in general, but even more so with smoking fish. You can't get it wrong. Okay, some recipes might taste better than others, but just have fun with it. It's a really good way to feed a lot of people. You can make the pie with smoked fish. You can just leave it for everyone to pick apart. I'm going to use a bit of paprika on here as well. Not tons, just a little bit on a couple of the pieces. We'll leave those as they are. Now, I'm going to go and arrange them in the smoker. And um, what we're using for smoke today is... Bit of Kanuka. I haven't got a Manuka that is going to be getting cut down anytime soon. We're actually doing some work around the property 
and there's a couple of young Kanukas that they're just going to have to be moved because of the driveway, water tanks, things like that. So in the meantime, I'm slowly going through and using them to smoke all my fish. So I'm going to make these into little bundles, which is pretty, pretty easy. You just want to fold them up like that. Then what I do is I get a smaller piece like so and I just wrap it around, tuck it in on itself like so. Oh, come on. <laughs> tuck them in like so. Sit them on top of the coals that I've already got that are hot and away we go. So I'll get set up, reposition you guys and show you what it looks like. Oh, how are we going to do it? Oh, I don't know. In fact, what I might do, I'll put these heads in later. And that'll make room for the belly flap. There we go. Just like that, guys. So I normally start with two bundles. Just let the coals get down to a nice ash colour. Set that in there. Make another bundle. It doesn't matter if it doesn't stay, stay tied together, but it is nice. Okay, we're getting some smoke. We'll pop our other one in there. And very nice and quickly, we'll pop that on. See if we can't get that down in there. There we go. And that's that, guys. So we're going to leave that for about half an hour and have a check on it. But basically, the slower the smoke, the better. You don't want it to cook from the heat. Not really. Um, you want the smoke to do the work. So. Obviously, the further away you get from the heat, the longer it will take to smoke. So the more fire and smoke material you're going to need. But, hey, look at that. Cranking away already. Um, my temperature gauge here is coming up to 60 degrees Celsius already. And I imagine that will sit around 100 once it's heated up in there. Okay. Same deal, check back in a bit. Okay guys, so temperature gauge here is reading oh, just over 100 degrees Celsius. It's been about half an hour. I added in two more bundles 10, 12 minutes ago. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, she's smoking beauty. So you can just see where some of this is starting to go yellow up through here that's what we're looking for all over you can see with these fillets especially this big one it's still quite soft so we've got a little bit longer to wait guys um i'm probably going to leave it about 20 minutes half an hour before i check it again and i'll probably add in another two bundles in about 10 minutes so i'll keep an eye on it and i'll show you the result when we're done cool Okay guys, so it's been about half an hour. Oh yeah. That foot's still soft, but it'll definitely be done now. Look at that in there. Yeah. Excuse me a moment. Hmm. Yep. Perfect. So I'm gonna pop this on the chopping board here. And Look at those belly flaps. Same little fillet. One with my thumb hole in it. There we go. And now you're going to have to accept with these backbones that sometimes. You lose a little bit of the goodness to the smoker. Which is 
not the end of the world. You can just see how much that falls apart. Look at that. Perfect. All right. So there we have it, guys. Smoked fish. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you go and give it a go this weekend. And um, yeah, enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's good fun to do for family. Like I say, there's a good amount of feed there. You just throw it on the table like that with some crackers and some salad, olives, pates, whatever you fancy. You're good to go. Some of this will be going in a smoked fish pie. Some of it I'm just going to eat right now because it just it looks too good to leave. So. Like I say, guys, get into it. Don't be shy. Play around with your recipes. Good luck. Let me know how you get on. See ya.